Business development manager interview questions and answers. You asked me to make this video. You want to ace your business development manager interview? Well, I'm going to share with you five of the most important questions you're going to get in a business development manager interview. And then at the end of our time together today, I'm going to share my one secret to success. This is the one thing. If you master this, you're going to ace the interview. You're going to get the job. This thing is so important. You're going to want to watch the video all the way to the end. Don't miss it. Join me for this powerful episode of The Inside BS Show. Hi, my name is Dave Lorenzo. This is the Inside BS Show. It's the show that takes you inside business strategy. We share all the insider business secrets with you. And today is probably one of the most powerful sessions I've ever done. I am going to share with you business development manager interview questions and answers. I'm going to give you the exact right answer for these questions. It's not a script. I'm going to give you a guide. You can put these answers in your own language. And if you ace this interview, you're going to make a lot of money. So you're not going to want to miss all of this show. But the most important thing that I'm going to share with you is going to be right at the end. It's the winning strategy to really make sure you crush the interview. If you do the strategy, if you do number six, which is the last thing I'm gonna share with you today, you're gonna kill this interview. You're gonna get the job. So don't miss number six, which is the last thing I'm gonna share with you. Here we go. Let's dive right into the content. Okay, question number one. Mr. Candidate, why do you want to become a business development manager? Now, when you answer this question, what you need to share with the interviewer is your desire to be a business development manager combines your talent, skills, knowledge, and experience along with the company's superior position in the marketplace. That's what they're looking for in this answer. So you need to give an example of how you've used your talent, skills, knowledge, and experience. Let me share the difference among those, those qualities, those characteristics. Talent is innate. It's something that you're born with. For example, I am a talker. I'm very good at talking to people. I'm very good at improvising. I'm very quick on my feet. So if I were answering this question, I would share a story about a time when a client asked me a question that was really challenging and I had to think of an answer on the spot and that saved the day. The other thing I would wanna share with them is the skills, knowledge, and experience I've developed over the years in my role as a business development executive or in another role that will translate to my role as a business development executive. Now, skills, knowledge, and experience are all things you acquire. So demonstrate that you have skills by saying, you know, I shared with you my talent, but I had to really hone that talent and get some skills in order to make sure that I could be effective in business development. So in my example, I'm a great talker. I am articulate and I can speak really well in front of groups of people. What I needed to do was acquire the skills to organize a presentation in a logical, thoughtful way. And the reason those skills are so important is because it helps me nail down the emotional and the logical aspects of making a pitch to a client. And I acquired those skills over the years through experience. I went out, made lots of speeches, got lots of feedback, closed a lot of business, lost some business along the way and learned from it. So the talent, skills, knowledge and experience all came together when I did presentations for audiences. That's the perfect way to answer why you want to become a business development manager. And I would throw in there that you especially want to have this role in a company that's as high in stature as the company with whom you're interviewing. And that will lead us to question number two. Again, these are the five business development interview questions and answers that you need to ace your interview. So question number two is, Mr. Business Development Candidate, why our company? Why do you want to work at our company? So you need to hit on three things in this answer. The first thing you want to hit on in this answer is that 
you feel like you can contribute in a big way to the success of the company and give an example of a story, tell a story of a time when you contributed to the success of another company and talk about how you can contribute to the success of this company. The second thing you wanna hit on is that this company offers tremendous growth potential. Every interviewer wants to hear that you want to grow with their company. So you're gonna say, Mr. Interviewer, your company has huge growth potential. I see people getting promoted all the time on LinkedIn. I wanna be a part of that success. So I'm gonna do my best to crush it as a business development manager so that someday I can be promoted to being a business development executive. The third thing you wanna hit on in this answer is that you know that that company is uniquely positioned for you to deliver extraordinary value to the client. So the three things, you want growth for yourself, you want to contribute to the success of the company, and the third thing is, I wanna be able to help the best clients, and I know your company has the best clients, and I can deliver value on behalf of this company to the clients. So it's the client, it's the company, and it's you. Those are the three things. Those are the three reasons why you wanna work for this company. Question number three. Mr. Person interviewing for the business development manager job. What makes a great business development manager? This is a question you're absolutely gonna be asked and you're going to have to tell the interviewer what you think a great business development manager has in order to deliver. Now, be very careful. Do not exactly rattle off the answer you gave in question number one. What you wanna say is, Mr. Interviewer, a business development manager who is outstanding has three specific qualities. The first quality is that they're intensely competitive and they're driven to win. I get up in the morning and I wanna win every day and the way I win the day is by closing a piece of business. And if I don't close a piece of business, it's by setting at least four or five appointments. And if I can't set four or five appointments, it's at least getting information into the hands of 10 or 15 people. A real win for me is when I do all of those things in one day. So that's the first thing I would say makes a great business development manager. The second thing that makes a great business development manager is someone who's a team player. I realize that I have to call hundreds and hundreds of clients in order to set 20 or 30 appointments for my teammates during the course of the next week. I have to go out and look for 15 or 20 strategic alliance partners just to close five that are gonna be a good fit for our company. I wanna do that because I wanna be a part of a winning team. I wanna to contribute to the overall success and profitability of our company. The third thing that I think makes a great business development manager is somebody who's well organized and follows a system. If I'm following a system, I know where I stand at all times. I know how many leads are in the pipeline. I know how many deals we're gonna close this month. I know how, many, how much money we're going to make this month, this week, this year. So having a system, being well organized, that's the third element of being a great business development manager. So we've gone through three of the questions so far. I've got two more questions for you and then I've got a killer winning strategy. That's number six. You're not gonna wanna miss it. I'm gonna share that with you at the end of our time together today. Before we do anything else, before we go any further, I wanna give you something that's gonna help you be successful when you land this business development manager role. I'm giving you the questions and answers. You're gonna do great in the interview. Once you're in the role, you're gonna need a system like I just talked about in order to be successful. I want you to take my system and use my system. So go to revenueroadmapguide.com, revenueroadmapguide.com, enter your contact information, and you can download my system for business development success. Business development managers all over the world are using this system right now, and I'm giving it to you for free. At the end of that guide that you're downloading, there's a series of questions. You can answer those and customize the system for you. It's my gift to you. Thank you for watching this video. Okay, question number four in business development manager interview questions and answers. Question number four is, how will you develop new business in this role? And you're gonna say, Mr. Interviewer, thank you so much for asking me this question. 
you know, I'm going to develop new business by taking a look at the leads that you have that may have grown old or stale. I'm going to take another run at them. By the way, people love to hear this, especially people in management because they spent money to develop those leads and their salespeople are just letting them die. So you're going to tell them, I'm going to take a look at all the old leads and I have a unique ability to rekindle old leads, bring them back into the fold. So I'm going to work really hard to try and bring those old leads into the tent, try and close them for new business. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my natural network and I'm going to work that network really, really hard to make sure they know about everything the company does, all the benefits that we have to offer. I want everybody who knows me to know that I can help them and I want them to know all the solutions we have to offer. Again, management loves this. They love to hear that you're going to go to your natural network and offer them the products and services that the new company has. The third thing I'm going to do, Mr. Manager, is I'm going to source brand new leads and I'm going to do it in a few different ways. I have an entire system that I use and I'd love to share that system with you and then share your system and you say, you see, this system is foolproof. It works every time. I do a lot of research, so I'm going to source new leads. So those are the three ways. I'm going to rekindle your old leads. I'm going to go out to my natural network and then I'm going to use my system, which I'm happy to demonstrate for you to source new leads. They will eat this up. They're going to be eating out of the palm of your hand. They're going to love that answer to this question. All right. Question number five. The interviewer is going to say to you, why don't you share a negotiation success story with us? So you got to have a success story prepared, how you negotiated something. Now, this doesn't have to necessarily be a business negotiation. It could be a negotiation you did to buy a car. It could be a negotiation you did with your son or daughter to get them to watch a movie you wanted to watch on TV. It could be a negotiation that you did to get your wife to agree to have you move into a bigger house. But the key to sharing a negotiation success story is to have it planned in advance and to tell it as if it's natural and it's just coming out of your mouth and it's not rehearsed. Here are the elements of that successful negotiation story. The story should start out being an uphill climb. It should look like it's not possible for you to negotiate a deal. The second element of the story should be that you developed a bond or a rapport with the person on the other side of the table, with the person with whom you're negotiating with. The third element is empathy. You should talk about how you connected with the person on the other side empathetically. The fourth element is how you got them to give something up by agreeing to give something up yourself, but the thing you gave up wasn't critical to the deal. And then the final element is how you came together with the person on the other side and you both won from the negotiation. It's really important that you share a story that has a win-win outcome. I know, because I've been negotiating my entire career, that some negotiations are not win-win. Sometimes you lose and you have to walk away. Sometimes you get the better of the other party. That's not what they want to hear in this interview. They want to hear a win-win. They want to hear how you help the customer be successful while you were successful. They want to hear that a rising tide lifts all boats. Okay, those are the five interview questions that are critical. Those are the five business development manager interview questions and answers you need. Now I'm going to give you the winning strategy. This is step number six. This is the sixth tip I have for you. And this is the winning strategy. If you really want this job, what you need to do is you need to come to the interview with a lead. You need to come to the interview with a piece of business for that company. Do your research in advance, figure out who their clients are, do the research on the client in advance and offer to set up a meeting with the client for people in the business. Now, here's the thing. Don't walk into the interview and go, hey, guess what? I got a lead for you. It's a really great lead. You want to see who it is? No, don't do that go through the entire interview process. And then when they say to you, all right, Mr. Candidate, do you have any questions for us? You say, you know, as a matter of fact, I do. In preparing for this interview, I did some research on who your ideal clients may be. And I called XYZ company and I spoke to Mr. Smith over there. And in speaking with Mr. Smith, I asked him who he was using for, and then talk about the service. 
and he said he was using ABC company and he wasn't happy. So I took it upon myself to ask him if he'd be open to having a meeting with us and I'd love to bring you or whoever you think is important into the meeting and maybe you and I can close this piece of business even before you hire me. That is gonna blow them away. If you bring them a lead, even if it's not the perfect lead, and you offer to close that lead in the interview, you're gonna get the job. Think about it. They're looking for somebody who's a great business development manager. If you bring them a piece of business in the interview, who are they gonna hire? You are nuts if you don't follow this strategy. This is the strategy that's gonna get you the interview. If you want to make money in business development, you gotta be able to develop leads. Bringing a lead to the interview is the fastest path to getting the job. All right, if you want more strategies, just like these great strategies on how to be a great business development manager, scroll down. There's a video right below me now. I want you to watch that video because that's gonna put your career on steroids. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.